What is Scrum's model? Scrum's model is made by Wilbur Scrum, who is considered the father of communication. The Scrum's model views communication as a process. Scrum believed that communication is actually a two-way process between the first party and the second party. He also emphasizes that the communication is incomplete unless and until the sender receives a feedback from the recipient. Imagine a person sharing his thoughts with his friend and his friends, not responding to him. Is this communication complete? No. This explains why communication breakdown occurs. It can be used to determine how communication between two people works when they are exchanging information, ideas, or attitude. This model breaks the send and receiver's receiver model. It seems communication in a practical way. It is not a traditional model. It can happen within our, ourselves or two people. Each person acts as both sender and receiver and hence use interpretation. It is simultaneously take place, example, encoding, interpret, and decoding. Buenos dias, estudiantes, or should I say, good morning, students. Good morning. Good morning, students. <laughs> saying um it's can you repeat what you are saying sabes lo que está diciendo puedo entender algo de eso de la que no la entiendes en absoluto can you guys understand me no entiendo how do we avoid barriers? First, learn how to listen. We all know that listening to someone is very important when engaging conversation to someone. Listen first, don't cut them up when telling some story or problems they have. Always listen and understand what they are saying before speaking up to avoid miscommunication. Have clar- clarity of thoughts before speaking out. Like what, I, like what we said, learn to listen, giving your attention and thinking clearly before replying to someone while speaking is a must if you are going to give comments on what the receiver is saying. To have a smart comments or reply to the receiver when speaking out. Take care of your body language and tone. Always mind your actions and before speaking because the receiver might misunderstand what you are showing to him or her. Your tone must be suited to what you and the receiver are talking about. Your tone is connected to your emotions. When you, ang- when you are angry, you tend to shout to who you're speaking to. For that not to happen, take a deep breath and think rationally. Your tone always should be in a verb, average tone to not be misunderstood by others or who you're speaking to. Build up your confidence by asking for feedback and observing others. When you are not confident with your communication skills, practice to speaking to a friend or teacher and ask for a feedback on how you communicate and take criticism by others when giving a speech. Or ta- talking to someone, observe people around you on how they take your speech or when you talk to someone and giving comments or reply to them. Observe their reaction and body language if they tend to hide their feelings on what you said. 
Communicate face-to-face on the important issues when you want to discuss to someone an important topic or issues, you need to communicate face-to-face. You cannot discuss it by using messenger or other technological messenger because it is lack of emotion. You don't know what expression, reaction the receiver will make. The video call might help to communicate when it comes on problem meeting each other to still see your receiver to discuss important topic or issues.